Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to The Fine Young Gentleman. My name is Justin Jeffers. Today, I want to present a list of 16 items that could kind of serve as a last minute menswear Christmas gift guide. Whether you need to add things to your list or you're shopping for someone else in your life, I hope these things are able to inspire you to you know, give some great gifts to your friends and family. We're gonna talk about some items relating to men's style, such as scarves and shoes. We're also gonna talk about some home goods, sheets, uh, even some books, some grooming stuff, and even a couple fun surprises. So first, let's talk about some clothing items. The first thing I wanna discuss is a green herringbone scarf from Drake's. Since the first time I saw this thing in their New York City store, I fell in love with it. I've been longing for it since then. It came in a couple other colors, but this green really stood out to me. The herringbone weave, the cashmere, it's soft, it's warm, it's sumptuous. It's a little expensive, very expensive. It's $475, so definitely, for most guys, not a gift you'd ever buy yourself, but it's a great thing to ask for or to give someone, um, you know, and it should really last the better part of a lifetime. Keeping along that knit theme, there's an olive green uh, chunky knit cardigan from J. Crew. It's around $200. It has kind of a Donegal look to it, so it has flecks of red and blue and brown and you know gray and white in it, which I think really adds some visual interest to me. Few things say fall and winter style better than a chunky knit cardigan, and if you wear it right, it, you're not going to look like an old man. You know, it's going to look really kind of stylish, really cozy, um, and I think it's really a great addition to any man's wardrobe. If you don't have one, you should have one. Following along that knit category, there is a red burglar hat from Effie Castlebury. Um, it's made out of cashmere. It's super nice. Uh, I kind of like how he calls it a burglar hat, not a beanie. Frankly, I hate the word beanie you know, for a hat. I also dislike when people wear them inside, especially when they're slouching off the back of the head. Can't stand that personal thing. Um, but uh, this hat is great. It kind of reminds me because of the name of Marvin Harry from Home Alone, which is the second best Christmas movie after National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Um, but if you guys remember, in the films, Harry wears a, it's a navy or a black beanie pretty much throughout both films. Um, so maybe that's where, uh, you know, Castlebury got the name from, I don't know. But it's a great looking hat. It comes in, uh, I think, a navy and a British racing green. The last of the knit items we have is the Adidas Ultra Boost. So I bought three of these things in two months. Um, so if that gives you guys an idea how much I like them, you know, you know, I don't know what else will. Um, first pair I got, I was like, these things are super comfortable. They feel a little different than your normal kind of running shoe or your kind of Nike Air shoes. Um, I really like the feel. Uh, it's, I don't know, not quite Tempur-Pedic light. It has spring, but it has kind of an enveloping feel to it. I love these things. I love to wear them to run. I wear them to the gym, except not on leg day. Um, I wear other shoes on those days. Um, but it's really a great shoe. They're super comfortable, super breathable. So in the summer, you know, they're not too hot. Um, and also, you know, the style is a little forward, a little different. I wouldn't wear it necessarily with a lot of things I wear, like, uh, you know, some corduroys and some khakis. Definitely wouldn't wear it with a blazer. Um, but they're great for casual wear, um, you know, or great, you know, for wearing for the gym. So moving forward into the shoe category, we have a burgundy suede bit loafer from Jay Butler. Um, this was kind of Jay Butler's fall offering, and as full disclosure, I designed the shoe. I own the brand and run the brand, so maybe I'm a little biased, but this is an awesome fall-winter shoe. I'd even wear it in the spring and summer, but the burgundy color and the gold bit, I think, is a classic color combination. You don't see this often or really ever in a bit loafer form, so I think it'd be a great addition to a lot of guys' wardrobes. Burgundy as a shoe color is um, you know, not seen a lot. It's kind of a classic American look, um, but you really never see it in a suede version, so this shoe I'm a big fan of. Following along the burgundy line, uh, Fort Belvedere offers a great wool silk burgundy pocket square with rabbits on it. They have it in a couple other colors, but I really like the burgundy. Um, Fort Belvedere offers some great classic men's accessories, pocket squares, ties, socks, and some other stuff. Um, but the pocket square really caught my attention. Uh, much like the shoes, you don't really see a lot of pocket squares in burgundy, and I think it's underutilized and underrated as an accent color for guys. So I think this is a great gift option. It's like $70, so it's not that expensive. It's a great stocking stuffer. It's a great kind of small gift, maybe like an office secret Santa type thing as well. Uh, so I hope you guys like that pick. Continuing with accessories, we have a pair of over-the-calf navy blue socks with a narrow stripe from Dapper Classics. I have like a dozen of their socks. I don't have this exact pair, but I'm sure it's made the exact same way. They're really nice socks. 
and they have a ton of offerings for over-the-calf socks. They have like 100 different styles. Um, so I think you guys would be really happy with this. And much like the pocket square, this is a great stocking stuffer. It's a small, inexpensive gift, um, and it's not really sized, so uh, you know it can fit a variety of, of, of guys, so it's kind of an easy gift to give as well. Another great gift to give is a leather bag or leather wallet. Um, I want to feature the Carl Friedrich Valens bag. If you guys remember, I featured their Palissy bag um, a couple months ago, um, and I thought it's a great bag, very well made, great leather. Um, the Valens bag is made in the same factory and with some of the same leathers and other materials, so I have no doubts that that will also be a great bag. It's a little smaller and a little less expensive than the Palissy. It comes in around $360, not $500. Um, so for those who are more budget conscious, it could be a great option. I personally prefer the brown with the orange lining version, but there's a number of other great colors. Last in the menswear kind of style and clothing section, and this again is another great gift to give that will stand the test of time, is a watch. Um, I'm featuring the Seiko SKX 007. It's kind of Seiko's classic uh, ubiquitous dive watch. Um, it's a great watch. There's a lot of aftermarket parts and modifications available, so you can really kind of make it into your own watch, which I think is kind of cool. And it's not that expensive. It's $200. Oftentimes you can find it for even less, and a lot of the modifications are also not that expensive. Um, you know, I'm kind of a, an old school guy in a new school world, so I like automatic watches, which is another thing I like about this watch. It comes in a couple different sizes as well. Um, and it's not, you know, one of those kind of fashion-y quartz watches, which I'm often really not a fan of. Um, so th this watch is going to stand the test of time. It's going to stand up to some abuse. And, you know, if anything does happen to it, it's not that expensive. Um, so it's a great watch. And, you know, I think a lot of guys would like it. It's a great kind of entry-level diver. And if you guys are like me, I'm nowhere near affording, you know, the Rolex, the Submariner, and the GMT that I want, or the Omega Speedmaster. So this is kind of a great, uh, you know, alternative to those. So I'm gonna throw you guys kind of a curveball. This next item has nothing to do with men's style or really anything else on the list, but I think it's just kind of a fun thing. Throw it in there and you know maybe you guys will like it, maybe you guys will hate it, but it's a Nerf gun. My niece and nephews all asked for Nerf guns for Christmas this year, so I had this massive shopping spree. I sent them all a bunch of Nerf guns. I'm going out to visit them for Christmas. We're gonna have a massive, epic Nerf war. I'm gonna beat all of them. It's gonna be great. And I'm pretty sure none of them watch my videos, so I'm not gonna ruin any presents by telling you guys this, um, but I'm pretty excited for that day. On kind of a more mature note, a lot of you guys probably have watched Entourage. You remember the Ari Gold scene where he takes a paintball gun into the office and starts shooting people. Um, it's a pretty hilarious scene. Uh, not saying you should go do that with a paintball gun or a Nerf gun, but it would be kind of fun to do with a Nerf gun just to kind of prank around with some of your uh, coworkers or you know, subordinates or you know, whatever. Um, you know, I would probably do it at my office. Um, so, you know, just kind of want to throw that one in there. I know it's fun. It's a cheap, inexpensive gift. Um, but if you really want to kind of throw someone a curveball, this could be a great option for that. Keeping with kind of a miscellaneous theme, I'm a fan of old paper calendars. This Ack v. Hamps calendar uh, is awesome. A buddy of mine, Jared, started the, the brand. Uh, they focus primarily on Nantucket and Hamptons themed watercolor, you know, kind of paintings. They, you know, have paintings of everything from famous establishments. Um, like the chicken box, uh, you know, to different items of clothing, different cars, G-Wagon, Defender, Wrangler, stuff like that. Um, they've kind of brought in the line to include things from like New York and Boston. They came out with a great kind of sale off versus Dorian's, uh, you know, kind of set. Um, but they had this calendar, which I think is pretty cool. It's like $39, $40. Great gift. You can put it in your office, you know, your home. But it's just kind of a fun thing to add a little character, maybe a little personal touch. Uh, you know, to your living space or your workspace. Continuing to paper products, I am a fan of paper books, not necessarily e-reader books like Kindle stuff, but you can get both these on your Kindle, especially the first thing. The first book is The Appearance of Power from a buddy of mine, Tanner Guzzi. Tanner, if some of you guys may know, is the man behind Masculine Style, a great website, um, you know, on men's dressing and men's style. The book focuses on kind of how to dress and, and how to know how your uh, kind of style and your appearance uh, helps others perceive you in a certain way. Um, I've started reading the book, I haven't finished it yet. When I finish it, I'll kind of share my thoughts, but I think it'd be a great uh, you know, gift idea for those who you know, on your list are really kind of men's style conscious or just kind of getting into menswear. You know, it's like $12 on Amazon, the Kindle version's even less expensive, 
Um, a kind of a fun gift and it's a great way to support a fellow men's wear blogger. The second and final book on the list is a cookbook from Zahav. I think uh, along with men's style, uh, cooking is a valuable life skill that every guy should know a little bit about. Um, that said, I've owned this book for about a year and cooked exactly zero recipes from it. Um, but going forward in the next couple weeks, I hope to get into the cookbook. I've read a lot of them. I'm really excited to cook out of it. Um, I think it'll make some, some great meals. Um, you know, I was at Zahav about a week ago and it was an excellent meal. It really reminded me how much I love the restaurant and uh, you know, it's long been one of the best restaurants in Philadelphia and it continues to get recognized as such. I had the lamb shoulder. Uh, it's probably the best lamb dish I've ever had anywhere. It's this great lamb shoulder roasted for 72 hours. It's brine. They cook it with a pomegranate molasses. It's, it's something special. If you guys come to Philadelphia, Highly recommend you try and get a reservation there if you can. Moving into grooming, there's one thing I want to talk about today. It's Mount and Gets Eucalyptus Body Wash. I've been using this stuff for years. I love it. The ladies love it. Everyone's happy. It smells great. Um, it's you know a little expensive, about twenty dollars for a bottle, um, but it's kind of one of my like uber unjustifiable luxuries. Um, it's not an expensive indulgence, but it's kind of a nice treat. It smells great. Um, they have a couple other great versions of it: a bergamot and a rum. Try both of those, also great. I just prefer the eucalyptus. The last two things I wanna talk about are home goods. The first is flannel sheets. I've recently become obsessed with flannel sheets. I was not really a big fan of them for a number of years, but decided to give them a shot this fall and uh, really have fallen in love with this set of blue and white window pane uh, sheets that I got from L.L. Bean. They have a couple other great window pane color schemes and they also have a number of solid colors. They're not that expensive. They're you know, around $100 to $150 depending on the pattern and the size of the bed. Would highly recommend these ultra soft sheets from Ella Bean. Um, you know, I may even pick up a second pair, so you know, I'm never short of them you know, when I'm doing laundry. Um, but these things are, are great. Um, you know, they're not so hot that uh, you know, you're sweating and you know, they're warm enough that you know, as soon as you jump in, you, you feel great, you're ready to go to bed. It, it really kind of lulls you to sleep. So the second and final home good item is the Miss Chesterfield couch from Interior Define. I know it's kind of a little bit of a reach, kind of a weird thing to give as a gift, but maybe you have a brother or parents or son or you know, loved one who is uh, moving into a new apartment or maybe you're moving into a new apartment and you just want to get a new couch. Um, but this couch, I've been loving it since I first saw it. I've always liked Chesterfield sofas. I think they're one of the great cultural exports of the British Empire. Um, the tufting, kind of the formal nature of them, they're masculine, they're strong, they're elegant, they're beautiful. Um, you know, they've always kind of caught my eye. Oftentimes you'll see them in the leather, but I really like them also in velvet. Uh, Interior Divine has a number of great velvet colors. I personally like the navy blue and the dark green. Today I'm feeling more of the dark green color. I think it's beautiful, it's regal, and it has a really nice feel to it. I was able to stop in their showroom in Soho a couple weeks ago to finally sit on this thing, lay on it. Super comfortable. You can customize the length of it. You can choose from like seven different fabrics. It's expensive, you know, they start I think around $1,300 or $1,400. Um, they get more expensive from there. So it's certainly, uh, you know, an indulgence. It's the most expensive item on this list, but I think it's a great option and, you know, could really make a great gift. And, you know, whenever you buy it for someone, every time they sit on they have to think of you, which is maybe a good thing, maybe a bad thing, but I think it's a great gift. So I hope you guys enjoyed this menswear Christmas list. I know it wasn't all menswear. We kind of had a well-rounded list. We had books and grooming, home goods, and of course, men's clothing. Um, but hopefully it gives you some inspiration either for yourself or for other people. And, uh, you know, hopefully it helps you have a better Christmas. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, you want to share your own thoughts on some of the items on the list, please hit the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to the Fine Young Gentleman YouTube channel. You can also find us on Twitter and Instagram at FYGblog, online at thefineyounggentleman.com. And until next time, guys, I'm Justin Jeffers from the Fine Young Gentleman. Thanks for watching. Okay.